Well, today is a new day because YouTube has decided to demonetize my channel and just completely screw me up the ass. Why did I get demonetized, you ask? Good question. You see, there's an old video from 2014 where I criticized Kashama Sawant for not knowing what words mean. Like when she says she wanted a radical, militant, non-violent solution to whatever social problem it was. And I said, radical, militant, non-violent. I don't think you understand what any of those words actually mean. You know, militant kind of implies violence. That's why it's with militancy, military kind of thing and then saying nonviolent well you can't you can't criticize the POC because now I've been demonetized I can never monetize a video ever again because of that so aside from this being complete and utter fucking bullshit this has allowed me one important thing Anything that I was afraid to report on before that would cost me my monetization is now no longer an issue. Because, well, I can't get demonetized now that I'm demonetized. So, things like sex trafficking that's going on with the Falun Gong cult, I can report on that now without fear. Oh, why am I not using my regular camera? Because the memory card decided to die when I recorded this video the first time. Thanks. Lexar. So, let me get this straight. I can't criticize Kashama Sawant because that counts as inciting violence or endorsing criminal organizations or some fucking bullshit like that, but Vosh can run around advocating for child pornography. He can defend child pornography, he doesn't get demonetized. Uh, he can run around sexually harassing women. Doesn't get demonetized. What happened to hashtag me too? I guess it doesn't apply to the liberal darlings now, does it? Like people like him, people like George Takei, etc. I mean, George Takei only admitted to raping a fucking guy. So, I guess it's okay to go around advocating genocide against Cuba because you're... Here's my pet theory about Vosh. If Bosch comes from a rich Hollywood family, lived in Beverly Hills, all that stuff's never worked a goddamn day in his life. And eh, maybe he had a bit of a radical thing going on early. But then for some reason, he just went extremely right into liberal. Defend all the talking points of the Democratic Party, etc. So, and somehow always comes down on the side of imperialism. Well, what happened? Well, here's what I, here's what I, th I think happened. I think, for the most part, the sister Coventil probe ignored him, because he was pushing their line for the most part. But then, maybe he got a little bit too radical at one point, and all of a sudden they decided to come down on him. Maybe take a look at his internet history and found some child pornography or something. And then came to him and said, guess what, you're gonna, you're gonna parrot everything exactly as the Democratic Party says it, or you're going to go to jail. I'll probably bet that's my pet theory about what happened. I don't have any proof of that. That's just what I think happened from putting two and two together. And that's why he so accurately mirrors the parrots, whatever the imperialist talking point narrative. And as soon as you call him on it, he rage quits like a bitch, like he did with uh, Jackson Henkel. So all of that's okay. I mean, YouTube, you, the, the people at YouTube who monitor the videos and decide who can and cannot speak are okay with supporting child pornography. But if I correct a POC on the definition of words, that's going too far. So you know what this means, of course. That all the stuff that I was afraid to report on before because it would lead to me getting demonetized... I don't have to worry about that anymore. Because I've already been demonetized. So what little censor there was is now off. I'd also like to announce that I've gotten rid of the green screen. It's really, it's a goddamn pain in the ass. Uh, I could export a video in five minutes. 
but if I use a green screen, it takes like an hour to an hour and a half, and that's that's really, in terms of rendering, that's just a goddamn pain in the ass. Even if it is, you know, China, in the background, Shanghai specifically. And as I said, I'm recording this video by web camera because my Lexar memory card decided to die when I recorded this video the first time. So, it's interesting how the right wing claim cries, Oh, it's the left is censoring everything, the left censors everything, it's the right wing that's poor and oppressed and I can't do anything, I can't even scream the N-word anymore. What the fuck do you call this? I mean, fake, fake leftists can, uh, can rail stuff left and right, no problem. But if you're like an actual leftist, you get censored. Huh. But no, it's the, it's the poor, downtrodden right winger who can't scream the N word anymore that's being censored. So, now that I've lost demonetization, you can expect to see some changes from now on. You'd expect to see me acting maybe just a little bit different and going into things that I normally wouldn't have gone into before. Because right now, I don't really have much to lose. I've already lost the $150 a month that I got from YouTube, and I hope that money serves YouTube well that it's managed to save. I'd also like to make an appeal to anybody who may be upset about this as much as me, although I doubt there's anybody as angry about it as I am. If you would be willing, please go to my Patreon and sign up for a monthly donation. I, as I said previously, one dollar a month from every person who watches these videos would set me up real nice. I would be able to actually quit my part-time job and do this full-time. And if you can afford one dollar a month, try to make it five. I mean, that's still just pocket change. But pocket change from everybody who watches this would be a would be a tremendous benefit. It would help me out a lot. I mean, that's less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks or something. So I would be I I I'd, I'd really appreciate that because things financially are going to get more difficult for me. You see, $150 may not seem like a lot, but when you're already on minimum wage part time, $150 really is a lot. That. The, I mean, that $150 isn't much to someone like ContraPoints or Vosh, but it is a lot for me, considering how low my income from this really is. At least in terms of YouTube, it's zero now. All that's left is my Patreon. So if you could really do me a solid and help me out there, I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate it. And maybe just make things a little bit easier for me going forward, now that I've lost monetization on YouTube.